This is Buddy Buchanan with the Leader in Times bringing you today's news, Wednesday, July 5th, 2017. Just a short drive from Liberal is the small town of Mead, and this weekend, the fairgrounds in Mead will be available for those looking to do a little shopping. The Mead County Summer Craft Fair will be taking place from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday, and coordinator Tasha Cooley said the event is a yearly affair she loves hosting. We have a show every July and November, and it's just building, she said. It's increasing so much that we're actually thinking about our November show getting two big buildings full instead of just one. It's always air conditioned, it's always heated. We have a few traveling vendors, one from Southeast Kansas. We have a few coming out of Oklahoma. We just have a wide variety. Booth rental is $90 and money collected from those fees goes to a good cause with each show proceeds from this year's show are going to the Mead Learning and Child Care Center. Deciding where the money from each show goes is somewhat of a never ending process, Cooley said. When our show ends, at the end of it, I recoup for a few weeks and I post that we are taking applications for the next benefit fundraiser so they can apply, she said. Anybody that lives in Meade County is allowed to apply. Each show comes with a silent auction with businesses in Meade and the surrounding area donating items. The silent auction will take place from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. and Cooley said participants do not need to be present to win. This year, the Learning and Child Care Center will also have a cakewalk, one of many things for kids to do Saturday. Cooley said the Mead community is very supportive of the craft fair and other local events there. You can have anything going on at the time, she said. We're just a hometown that loves to support our locals. We like to shop local. We all just like to have a good time and have each other's back. Cooley said vendor booths will come with two tables and two chairs, along with air conditioning and electricity. You can set up as early as 6.30 in the morning and there's absolutely no early teardown, she said. And with several restaurants and businesses in the Mead community, Cooley encourages everyone to come to town this weekend. You might as well get in your car and take a Saturday drive, she said. Cooley said she is beyond blessed to have the craft fair. We love it, she said. We have a good time and we appreciate everyone's support by coming out and seeing us and having a good time and enjoying the events and things that go on for our kids and just shopping local. This is Bud Buchanan with The Leader in Times. God bless and thanks for watching.